idea to communicate with people. So we can take this problem now, this very unique, specific problem of saying there are zillions of missed connections every day. When you flip your mind for a second and you start looking at the world that way, it's a little bit mind-boggling. I mean, you think about the newspaper. We open the news every day. Newspaper used to be this paper, right? Now it's on the web. How many of you still like buy the daily paper? You, you read stuff on the web. And so, but they, the newspapers, haven't made the switch. Well, you now go to the, you go to the um, New York Times now online, you click on this horribly depressing story about some human rights horrific thing somewhere, you finish, you're like, okay, thank you, New York Times, you've made my day. Uh, could they please have a link there sometimes that you can link on something, like do something about this? The information is there. It wouldn't kill them, it wouldn't cost them a thing to have a link. You know how, how many of you have noticed that the New York Times now, under every story online, you can open up this little thing that has Facebook and Dig and all these other little things of sharing a story. What if they had another little one that said do something or whatever? Like actually get involved in this story, why not? They don't have to take sides, they can just lead you to idealists or wherever. They can lead you somewhere <laughs> and you can um, take sides. I mean, you can, you can take sides, you can actually do something. So another missed opportunity, I mean, we, we watch television, all of us, all the time and we think, oh my God, poor person or this is horrible or look what happened. If I could now hit a button and send 10 bucks or sign something, or put, I would. But I have no button, my child is crying, missed opportunity. Okay, and then, so you can take it to big stuff, you can small stuff, you can take it all the way to very, very big things. You think about every, as the last example I'll give you of this, you think about every conflict in the world, okay? Racial, ethnic, national, religious, whatever. And conflicts have borders, have boundaries, people hate each other on both sides. Most people, in fact, I think, don't hate anyone. But anyway, people hate, they're in the news, great. What about all those people on both sides who, if they could, would love to connect, first of all, with the people on their side who don't see the other as the enemy. They see actually the conflict as the enemy and would love to do something about it. And then what about connecting across the border?